Yum, yum. Hi, I'm Daniel Smith, and I have another Dancer's Nuke Tip. Sometimes if you have a render that is rendered over top of a different backing color and not black, this can cause problems with compositing. For example, when we look at this merge, we can see that the pink background has tinted our image. Normally, images should be pre-multiplied over black for proper compositing. We can solve this by creating a traditional pre-mult. However, because it was rendered over a different color background, we no longer have nice edges, but there are residuals of this pink outline around his border that causes compositing issues. So what we need to do is we need to remove that color from the edge without destroying the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this image right here and we're going to invert it and we're going to get a backwards alpha channel. We're going to copy this alpha channel into a new image stream which will give us a constant of the same color of the backing. So let's go back up to that backing color. We're going to take our constant, we're going to click on the selector and we're going to sample that color so our constant is the exact same color. And we're going to connect that as our B input on our alpha. We've now done this so that we, we can take this and we can now use it to pre-multiply away the color. So now we have an inverse, inverse of the color backing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract that from the foreground. So set our merge to minus and connect the foreground part up here. You'll notice that what we've done is we've essentially canceled out this area over here and we need to recombine it with a proper alpha channel because our alpha channel has gotten sour. So we're going to use one more copy node. Alright, so we copy this over here and we're going to take the output, bring it over here and bring this up here, but we do have to skip this pre -mult right here. This pre -mult, this should be coming to the direct. There we go. Let's just delete that. So here we go. This is a much better result and we can see that we've gotten rid of all the pink fringing. Let's take a little comparison back to the original and notice how this improved. And we're going to switch this to matte. So we've gone from these pink fringes to no fringes without destroying the edge. And now isn't that better? Thank you for watching and oh, I got some renders to check on. Yum, yum.